Hi, welcome Capricorn. This is going to be a collective reading for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for Capricorn for July for love. I already pre-shuffled the cards. Capricorn, July 4th and 5th are significant for you. There is going to be a lunar eclipse in your sign of Capricorn. And it's something rare. It's marking a liberation, a breaking free. There's a conclusion here. And it, what's taking place here is in the United States, we have 4th of July on July 4th. So you'll remember this reading is telling you independence is also what's going on in the states of the United States and for all Capricorns, a breaking free energy. Okay, so what is the energy for Capricorn in love? July 2020. What is the energy of Capricorn? looking back right now at home it looks like you're looking back making decisions you still have one foot in and one foot out though but you're thinking about it you're doing research about it there's an energy of you looking back to making plans of possibly going back it could either be going back to an ex, you're missing them, there's a missing, there's a thinking of them, having them on your mind here all the time. There's even a looking into them, like on their social media platform. I see this here, okay? Capricorn, what is the main energy for July? is on a soulmate here I'm coming together with the one that you love here and I see two two right now so this is telling me that you want to get to the root to the core of it in this soul connection and your mind is very focused on this okay so Capricorn what is your the one you love with a fire sign? Are you in love with someone who's seductive? Hmm, I got a fire sign here of Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Sagittarius is what I'm feeling here. And they're looking quite seductive. This person's also ready to take charge. Absolutely, they have the sun. They're positive thinking right now. And I, I see a lot of sunflowers in this picture. Mm -hmm. The symbolism of sunflowers is like, I, a saying of sunflowers when there's a time when they actually face each other, like the two of cups. And this person is looking for positive energy. They wanna make a positive move, okay? Let's say one more. This person is positive of whatever they're planning on doing. And they're seeking to take adventure, to take action. There's an action here. Yep, now I have a pair. I have a king and queen of wands here.
and the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And these two are just about to make a big decision. It looks like something in the past here that a turning back and turning your back to what was. Now with this is breaking free is you're breaking free from a 10 year cycle, it could be. It could be a cycle where there was an ending here, a feeling of being betrayed. And I see you looking to the positive side, the one that you love is looking back at this, wanting a restart, there's a restart here. But looking eye to eye, okay, you're facing each other, you can't take your eyes off of each other. There's a magnetic appeal in between you two. The sun is shining in between both of you. There's a lot of passion and a magnetic appeal. This is a power couple that's highly seductive. This is a couple, this is a person, when you're with this person, they see you, even though I know this is, you're coming up as the king of wands, you're just as passionate as them. judgment here this person wants to start over definitely this person's thinking of starting over a second chance here there's a second chance at love here is what I'm saying mm -hmm. what is going on for the end of July for Capricorn in love 2020 end of July Patience is needed. There's some areas that there's still confusion here. But patience is needed. A Sagittarius, I'm picking up heavy in this reading, or a Leo. Okay. What is the advice for Capricorn in love? Five, five, major change. One more. Yep. The advice is you're starting, that there's communication here that's needed. I see coming together, okay, three of pentacles, putting the work in with each other. Coming together, making plans, putting the work in. And with the Five of Swords here, which we'll clarify, the Five of Swords with the Five of Pentacles and the Magician here is telling me, you have manifested your way out of an ending here. You and, or the one you're in love with. Someone that was once possibly, take this as however it resonates, you walked away or they walked away there's a feeling of left out in the cold. There's a feeling here of having to walk away from a battle here. That there wasn't, it was a, a no win kind of a battle here. And a major change that bring you to manifesting. Now you're in your power, you're thinking mentally sharp here, Capricorn. And you're at the one, you're starting off a new beginning here. Mm-hmm with the magician let's get some clarifiers this is you coming into your power we are at a very big time for manifesting right now wow, these look pretty shuffled tell me more let's look for clarifiers again patience is needed here there is a possible reconciliation here 
one of you walked away from each other, Capricorn. I feel that someone walked away and that was you. That walked away very emotional here. And with the Eight of Cups here telling me this, walking away for, for emotional fulfillment is what you're searching for now. And you have Two of Wands twice. There's a, choice, a decision that needs to be made here. Yeah, there's a decision. And you're looking across the water. You're looking across the mountain of what direction to go to. You're holding the world in your hand and you're thinking globally, okay? This could be communication. You're looking to communicate. You're doing research. Yep. Please clarify this two of cups. Please clarify the two of cups. You're making plans. Queen of Wands twice. There's definitely a Sagittarius, possibly a Scorpio, but there's something that's going to be quite surprising, and it's going to be the Queen, Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands has been working on herself and putting the work into this relationship. But the Page of Wands is just telling me divine timing is at play here for you, Capricorn. A sudden, okay, suddenly, there's going to be a shakeup that comes to you in July, and it's going to bring communication from this Queen of Wands energy, wanting to put work in this relationship. And divine timing is here. Now take this for however it resonates. The Queen of Wands energy. This is a fiery person, someone that's very seductive, someone that puts a lot of work into herself and that is willing to put the work in with the Eight of Pentacles. And this is going to come to you as a shock when this person comes in and messages you. You're going to get a message from them. Very fiery. I see a lot of fire, a lot of seduction. Okay. Yeah. She's here twice. Please clarify the Queen of Wands and the Sun. The Queen of Wands with the Sun. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Yep. This Queen of Wands wants to tell you she loves you. He or she loves you, this Queen of Wands. This fire energy person. They've been in their head. They've been feeling like they were stuck. They can't stop thinking about you, okay? There's a lot of love here, Capricorn. There's a lot of love here. Please clarify the King of Wands. This is the kind of feeling where you feel young again, kind of love. that's being made, okay, right now, 
by the masculine energy is what I'm saying. And this is this and you have the magician twice with the world card and justice. This will work in your favor. Fairness is fair in this relationship. A decision needs to be made. But there is a cycle here, Capricorn, that you did finish. And it's good to see that the card is here because this is letting you know that this is Saturn, okay? Well, you completed a cycle and whatever the shadow side was, okay? Whatever lessons were learned here, there was a lesson learned here that favor was on you for this. That's why the light is shining on you right here, Capricorn, okay? You're giving birth to a new something, a birth of a new project, a birth of a new business, a baby can be, okay? Someone can uh, be very fertile during this time. Yep. And a judgment is being made. There's a 10 year cycle here that I'm seeing. The number 10, 10, okay? There's a lot of luck here. It's a judgment card. You've been holding on. They've been holding on to you for a second chance. Someone has not let go. They're wishing and they're hoping for this to work out again. And this is a second chance at love here, is what I'm saying with the judgment. Why is the Seven of Cups here with the Temperance? Patience is needed here. In July, I see there's an action that's going to be taken towards your soulmate, towards the one you love here. There's being action taken here. There is movement here, okay? There's a reconciliation. Yes, to the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful. Yeah. This is you being in the highest vibration of love, Capricorn. You moving back. There could possibly be a reconciliation also of someone, a husband and wife, or co-parenting with children here. You see that Ten of Cups? And the sun is shining on you, Capricorn. Okay? There's a, there might be a distance between you and this person, Capricorn. Okay? There is, there could be a distance here, but there's a coming together where you will not be separated. The offer of an apology after a huge, a huge separation, a, a huge fight. There is an offer here. Yes. This person went through a spiritual death and transfer transformation. This person, okay, transformed in a way that when you do recognize them, they won't even speak the same way. This person has transformed. They have learned their lessons from the cycles, from karma. This is a person that put the work into their self, okay? And they healed. There's a healing here, uh, a, a mending of the karma, learned lessons. And now you're manifesting. Now you're moving forward. You're starting from one. Yeah, there's a major change. When I see all these fives, you have three fives. But there's a passionate new beginning. So the change is bringing in a passionate, positive soul connection here. I'm seeing the twin flame connection here. And this is something that you both manifesting and you have the will twice. This is Saturn. 
Yep. This is Saturn, Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is going to be turning in back into the sign of Gemini in mid-June. I'm sorry, mid-July. It, it took effect in June, but it also brings back exes for a second look at things, a second to see if this is something that you want to mend. Capricorn, I am saying that this is something you want to mend. This was lessons learned. And now starting off a new chapter with the person that you love here, you're coming together with. You'll be suddenly shocked when you see this person is going to give you a message or you'll give them a message. And there's movement forward. Yeah. I see that in the past there was guards up. This person put a guard up. Not anymore. Their guard is down. Mm -hmm. Too many cards. I'm saying, okay, let's get some advice from the romance angels. I like the energy because the shift happened. People are starting to see eye to eye. Yeah, where there was no communication, communication is coming in. a wedding at the bottom of the deck. What do we have for our Capricorns for July 2020? Advice and love. Romance angels for Capricorns. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. There you go. Let go of the control issues, Capricorn. Faith and trust that it's coming to you. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So this is letting me know with law of attraction here. The more we want it, the more we say we don't have it, we can push it further. Law of attraction is acting like we already have it. So stay in a lighthearted energy Because you are manifesting right now. And you're manifesting for great love to come to you. You finished a cycle that you learned very much from. You mastered a skill here. You mastered a very big skill. And you're standing firm now. Stand firm. This is your soulmate. Absolutely. Yes, this is your soulmate, Capricorn. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. There could be a difference here, an indifference. Your soulmate might be from a different ethnic. Your soulmate can be completely different from who you are or what your families are. Give your relationship a chance, Capricorn. This is a relationship to work on. Work on your partnership. Give, your, give this relationship a chance. So I hope you like this reading, Capricorn, for July. If you did, I would greatly appreciate a like and a subscription. And I hope you enjoy the month. God bless and thank you.